Hello, Tom here with Porter Valley. I just installed Inspect View 4 uh, from the fresh install. And one of the things that you're going to notice when you first uh, start up Inspect View 4 after you've completely installed your library is that number one, there's not going to be no any reports. But when you create a new report, uh, for instance, I'm going to call this one uh, Test Report, just like, ooh, if I can spell P O R T, there we go. I'm going to create a test report. And as, I'm going to go ahead and skip through all this information as well. When you come down here to bedrooms, you're going to notice that there's no extra bedrooms. There's only one bedroom and that there's only one bathroom. Well, this is because, uh, we actually, we, we did it in, intentionally. This is because uh, there's a lot of different naming schemes that a lot of different inspectors use out there. So let me show you how we're going to create alternate bedrooms. Uh, the quickest and easiest way is right here in the report writer, okay, to actually create these new categories because we have sections, categories, components, and narratives, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select main bedroom and we're going to create a new category in our copy of one from an existing right here, that little what looks like a green arrow. We're going to call this one master, just like so, bedroom. Okay, we're going to copy that. Now, at this little one, it says update library. Your current report has been updated. Do you also want to update your library file? At this point, if you select uh, select yes, any changes that you make now are going to be reflected in future reports. If you select no, changes will only be reflected in this report, test report right there. So since we want to make these changes for future reports as well, we're going to go ahead and select yes at this point. It's going to make a copy of our main and call it master. We're going to do this two more times. We're going to call this one second bedroom and hit copy. Yes, we want to make our changes to our library. And we're going to do this one more time. And we're going to call this one third bedroom, just like so, and hit copy again. Yes, we want to make changes to our library. Okay, so now we've got a couple bedrooms here. You can continue on. I'm just going to show you real quickly uh, how to make these changes now. But let's go back to our master bedroom. And by clicking on our category, master bedroom, you'll notice something. It still says main bedroom here in the, lot, in the narrative list, and our narratives still actually say uh, main bedroom. These need to be changed real quick. So to change these, what we do is we put a little checkbox right there in our narrative list. That lets the program know that this is the narrative that we want to edit. So we come down here and edit this. Where it says main, we're going to actually type in master. Okay? This is a friendly heading. When you change this, it only narr uh, changes the narrative list. The narrative list name, which is this little part here that I'm editing, doesn't actually show up on the report. What does show up on the report is the category heading, the component and the actual narrative down here. But you'll notice the narrative still needs to be changed. So let's go ahead and change that to master. Okay? Now I'm going to leave this little blank here because that when we get in actually out into the field and we do our reports, um, we don't exactly know where the bedroom, master bedroom is. So we're going to leave that blank and out in the field we can change that when the time comes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. Save changes just like this. Again, same thing. If we click yes, it changes our master library. If we click no, it just changes our current report. So let's go ahead and click yes. And you'll notice that our narrative list has now been changed from main bedroom to master bedroom. I'm going to quickly go ahead and take care of the rest of these. Again, we change that. Second bedroom. Second bedroom. Save our changes. Yes, we do. Third. There we go. Again, we want to change our narrative. So we go third. And third as well. There you have it. Just that simple. And you'll notice each and every one of these now have their own components list with all your possible choices in each and every one of these. This list could actually grow quite long. You can have third, fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth bedroom. But it's just that simple.
and it's that easy. One thing you'll notice is that I left main bedroom up here at the top. I didn't try and change that name. The reason being is because I kind of want to leave a, a template, so to speak, in case I need to make a new or an exciting bedroom that's not actually a part of the house or it's something that I encounter that's different out in the field that I hadn't prepared for. I can always just select main bedroom, copy the category, and create this new instance to suit the, the particular needs at the time. Other than that, most of the time I'll just be selecting master bedroom, second bedroom, third bedroom, and right on down the list. I hope this all helps. And if there's any further questions, you guys know how to contact me. Uh, my name is Tom, and my number is 877-810-5635. I hope you guys have a great day, and take care now.